Hi. Bye. Yes. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Global Thursdays on MJT Reviews. A bit late, I know. Um, actually, I'm just going to... So, um, yeah, sorry. Um, but now we're on. So I'm going to make Korean braised chili chicken and say hi if you're on. So, yes. Okay, so hi, Mum. Can you shut the door, please? Because it'll be too loud. Okay, I'll just wait. Okay. Okay. So, hi everyone. Um, oh, this is Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Adrian's on. Um, you may recognize something looks a little different. Maybe you don't. I've got a new setup. I've got some new production lighting. So. This is um, the first time um, working with the new lights, so it's pretty exciting. But anyway, let's just begin. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of new stuff to that. So, um, and also, sorry for the delay, combination of finishing up work stuff and people in my apartment were the, planning on leaving, but they were, because of that, they were actually hanging around the living room more than usual. So I was just waiting for them to leave. Okay. So the first step with this is it's Korean braised chi chili chicken. It's so nice. It's going to be a fun one. It's just fun to make as well. I thought a lot of like, it's a lot of like um, pulling apart meat. So if you're a vegetarian, I actually advise you to not watch this <laughs> video because I don't know, I would be squirmy. I'm squirmy eating it. But um, okay, so um, I'm just seeing where to put. Do I need a big bowl for later or can I put it in the big bowl? I'm gonna put it in the big bowl. So we'll start with the chicken. I saw chicken wings. Two kilos of chicken wings. And Gonna prepare them by cutting through the joints to separate the drumettes. And you know, for the first time I did this, it blew my mind that I just realized, I'm gonna put that here. I realized that those little like mini chicken drumsticks that you have are from the wings. I <laughs> I thought they were just mini chickens. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna use this knife. Hi everyone watching, thank you so much for waiting. I better let Kerry Ray know actually that I'm on because she said to let her know. I'm on, Kerry. Okay. Edwina's saying happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, Edwina. I might try to actually just bring the light down because there's a lot of shadows. That's actually going to be better, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, that's cool. Happy with that. 
All right, so let's just get this drama thing going. Okay, so find the joint and cut through it. It's a bit tedious from my memory. Yay, first one done. First of one. Okay. So, yeah, I got a new um, lighting set. So, things are, change things are changing on Global Thursdays. Oh, gosh, this is going to be so tedious. Oh, and we keep these, it says to keep the wing tips for the stock. Yes, okay. So I'm going to put that in. I don't know what each bowl is for, but I'm going to go with that. Okay. Shout out if you're watching. Hi to everyone watching. I've got four people online right now. Genevieve said yo while she was waiting for me to come on. So yo, Genevieve. How's my home girl? I think I have chosen, if anyone has like a halftime entertainment song they want me to sing, let me know. But I do have a song that I'm thinking of singing in the middle of this. Oh my gosh, it's so tedious. So gross. It's so, sometimes it's tough to find this joint. It's literally like oh, it's,
You were getting some ASMR for sure tonight. Some squelching is back and cracking. Usually this is the easiest part. Carrie's on. Hi, Carrie Ray. I feel like this is the hardest bit of the whole recipe, just cracking the, <laughs> breaking the wings apart, and then it'll be onto some riveting stuff after this. And also, this knife is not sharp at all. It's actually very annoying. I need to get a new knife. Carrie's saying thank you for the birthday flowers. Hope you had a nice birthday, Carrie. ones. Genevieve's on. Finally in action. I think there was an issue on my end. It wouldn't play. No, it wasn't an issue, Genevieve. I was, I start, usually I just go straight in live, but I decided to create like a link that schedules it to premiere and I wasn't ready <laughs> when I put that time in. And so it just stayed, but I got your yo message and I was like, oh my gosh. I gotta start this thing. Okay. Oh my gosh, this thing went crack. Crack. <laughs> Why am I trying to bring it? Okay. Most of the time, I've gotta start the other way, I think, for some reason. Okay, that's better. I think maybe I just wasn't on the joint really. Okay, just gonna wash my hand.
So yeah, got a new lighting set up, Genevieve. So hopefully it looks okay with the new lights. Anyone can request a song for me to sing for halftime entertainment, although I do have a song in mind this time. Oh, I did it the wrong order. I was going to cut the other way because I feel like it gets easier. I'm trying to cut on the joint. Ah, so much easier that time. Okay. But yeah, I was saying before, this is like full on ASMR, this video. <laughs> Requesting, can I get a bit of I say yeah? I've been singing that this week. Well, you know, that's my favorite Dream Street song. And I love some Dream Street. <laughs> okay. Kerry Ray said, have been waiting for a Mariah Carey song or a Tina Arena song. Well, the other day, I think when you were at the house party, I did sing a mashup of um, I Still Believe and Reflections by Mariah Carey, which are very obscure Mariah Carey songs, like are kind of on purpose. I'll try and think of a Mariah Carey song that you'd know. Um, or a Tina Arena song. Genevieve is saying hashtag squelch. Squelch, crack. It's like a butcher version of Cell Block Tango. And that's when he ran into my chicken wings. Well, he could also run into my knife, I guess. Like I was saying before, this is like, this is a very tedious part, but it's not like this for the rest of the recipe. Cutting the chicken wings and then it's fun, fun, fun in the sun. Um, and yes, <laughs> the other batch. Oh, we stopped, but now we got more. Okay. It's definitely hashtag squelch. I should have put that as the title of the video. Hashtag squelch. <laughs> cut on the wrong side again. Okay. So I'm putting the wing tips for those that didn't see at the beginning in a separate bowl to add to a stock later. And we're making these, cutting them into drumettes. I was saying before, like, I, I can't believe it was until I made this originally that I was like, oh, those little mini ch chicken drumsticks are not drumsticks, they're actually wings. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's really difficult to, like, kind of find the joint in this. Oh, I cut myself. Okay. 
I felt like that was gonna happen. Not a lot, it's okay. Okay, but I think I know it. I might have to put a band-aid on though. It's probably gonna be annoying. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I just calm myself a little, but I'm just putting a band aid on. Not to um, not shock. She's okay. <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a weird band-aid. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if I need a band-aid anymore. It's not bleeding. That's okay. But we don't have many good band-aids in this house. Not just <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Grab the shiv is okay. Yeah, this is really, it's more that this knife is really annoying. Okay, finally done. Yeah, it's not bleeding. So that's okay. Okay. I have to do it from this side. This side's much better. Oh, see, that one was so easy. When you find the joint, it's so easy. That was a good one. Okay.
Ew, that's a gross chicken wing. I hate when hands are on chicken wings. Yuck. Okay. Genevieve says you need a cleaver, Mitchell. <laughs> Okay, two more. Yay! <laughs> I can tell when I haven't got the joint. But I am kind of getting the hang of it more. Or am I? Okay, and this is the last one. Make it a good last one. Okay, yay, done with that. Okay, so the next. Okay, so place the wing at and drum it in a bowl with onion. Okay. 
and that is two large brown onions peeled and cut into thick slices. Oh, hi, Ray. Shout out to Ray. He's watching. Oh, it's time to cry. Th free therapy session. He's ready for a free therapy session. <laughs> it's that time of the show again. Okay, it says thick, so I'm going to try to keep it thick. And just put it in with the chicken. Okay, the other onion. Do this onions on my microphone. <laughs> Shout out to Dean who used to wear goggles when he cut onions. I don't know if he still does that. Where we used to be. 
Cause giving you my heart and soul, giving you my heart and soul, I have found a way of letting go. Because, baby, I don't wanna cry. Okay, there's my Mariah Carey song. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to put the sauce ingredients in this bowl for now. All right, so let's do this with the sauce. So a quarter cup of soy sauce. We have a lot more soy sauce. Well, we don't have a lot more, but we have soy sauce. That's that was the bottle was pretty much a quarter cup. Next up is Ray Love the Sun. <laughs> okay, so um, a quarter cup of gochujang. Oh, I've got some gochujang here. And that's a quarter of a cup. So I'll watch this quarter of a cup. Okay. So this gets very messy. And thank goodness, uh, you can actually. I don't sponsor this brand. I do not endorse it. And as you can see, other brands are available. But this, I will say this brand, you can get at Coles in Australia, which is like Tesco or, <laughs> or like just a regular shopping mall. You might be able to find it in your area in a regular shopping mall. But, yeah, pretty easily accessible. But I think they ran out the day I, oh, we went to Woolworths or something. So we went to a specialty store and got it there. But and this is a Korean chili paste. Very spicy. That's so good. Um, with that I usually use this kind of spatula thing to get it out. It's very messy.
Okay. And we'll use some of the new one. Genevieve's saying yum. Yum to the gotcha jang. Okay, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with that. I just put the tiniest mark because I the scraping off left some of it off and it was an exact measurement. Okay. All right, great. So that's the go to Jane. And the next one is Gochugaru. Now this one, um, oh sorry, no, this is a Gochugaru. Okay, Gochugaru, and this will be two tablespoons. Now this is the first time I'm using Gochugaru because I couldn't find it the first time I made this and I went to the Asian specialty store, which is actually, well, they, they have everything at the Asian specialty store. They literally categorize it into like aisles of like, this is a Filipino aisle. This is a Thai aisle. This is the Chinese aisle. But I think they um, specialize in, well, they just, they have like a whole bunch of, many different Asian cuisines. I don't actually think they, they specialize in anything. But they didn't have gochugaru. And they gave us like, they gave us, they advised us to use Indian um, chili powder. And I was like, oh, uh, like, I mean, it's just chili powder, really. Indian chili powder is like kind of pure. So I was like, okay, but I suppose I have like a, more East Asian f flavor. So I think I ended up getting like a Japanese chili powder and I was like, we'll just use that. This time um, we went to a, a new Korean specialty store in, kind of in a town near us and they had this. And it's um, red pepper, Korean red pepper flakes, which is gochugaru. And we, we just used two... Table. <laughs> I almost like flog it all into there. Two tablespoons only. So. This is going to be good. Say spicy. have so much of that. Okay. One tablespoon of caster sugar and other brands are available. Um, what was it? One tablespoon. Okay. One tablespoon of honey 
And it's just like honey when your love comes over me. Oh, baby, I got a dependency. Do not, do not taste of your honey. Said, ah! Oh, no, 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 this is over me. And then, 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 Oh, I think it's raining outside, which means the people in my apartment, my parents will be coming back early. They went out to, <laughs> they went out to eat at a street market. <laughs> and it seems to be raining heavily because I can hear it in my in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> I can just imagine them at the street market in the rain. Okay. Um, five cloves of garlic peeled and minced. And also, um, shout out to Marg if she watches, but she told me not to use this honey because cruelty to bees or something. And so I'm just using the honey that I have left over from when I made the purchase. And then I will take your um, recommendation. It's noted. Okay, five cloves of garlic peeled and minced. That sounds like a five cloves of garlic peeled and minced. <laughs> okay, what are the comments saying? I haven't been for a while. Carrie's saying, love the spice. Genevieve is saying it's extremely windy in Angadine. It was extremely in windy here in the Gong Gong when I was working. I actually had it the window open and then I was talking to people at work and they couldn't hear me. But, yeah, it's, it's getting windy down here. Maybe it's just the wind I can hear. It might just be the wind, actually. It's either wind or rain. I can hear something. Um, <laughs> Genevieve is a Dream Street fan for life. This is a wrong kind of um, knife to get or dry the um, other knife.
so what are you having for dinner, Genevieve? What are you having for dinner, Kerry Ray? I said peeled and minced and I'm crushing the garlic. Oh my gosh. I do have a, um, maybe I'll just, I don't know. I don't know where I have the device where I usually, I mean, I could mince like this. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that actually works. I should have done it with all of it. No. I'll do it. I'll, uh, I'll keep. I'll keep what I've done. Crash doesn't really matter. Carrie's having chicken and sweet and sour from a jar. Ooh. From a jar, like a, <laughs> what's that guy, Genevieve? The guy that's like, you know, <laughs> you know who I mean. The guy that hates things. He's like, f that, f that food. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Ooh, there's like skin. How did that get in there? Okay, that's all done. Okay, cool. Might need that for another thing. I'll just dispose of some of the skin of the onions and I'm just going to put this in. Okay. All right. So, yeah, two teaspoons of grated ginger. Now I know, I think you're supposed to peel the ginger. I always have it unpeeled, kind of ratchet. Um, <laughs> I love it. That's what I reckon. I love it's asked me to show or hide your comment, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> I 
so that's about one teaspoon. Actually, it could be two. I think that's almost two. No, it's kind of, there's one and one more to go. <laughs> yeah I'm just putting that in That's. I'm doing it Genevieve I'm not going to measure the second teeth because otherwise I, would, I just waste it okay done with the ginger okay and a quarter teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon. Okay, so mix together the ingredients for the sauce. So we'll do some mixing. this to mix. <laughs> the ASMR of it. So it's looking nice. a really like a really nice ready bold Korean spice sauce. Okay. Oh, Carrie's having chicken and rice with a jar of store bought sweet and sour sauce. That actually sounds good. Okay. All right. So, and now it says, um, so there's a sauce and toss through the chicken and onion. We need a bigger bowl. You really do need a bigger bowl, but I'll try. Okay. Do we have a, an even bigger bowl? I wish we did. No, that's the largest. What did I do last time? Okay, let's try it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Shout out to everyone watching. Shout out to everyone watching at home <laughs> off the live feed. Feel free to subscribe to see more cooking videos and a lot of like random other videos. I need to get like a spoon. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh. Now, how do we toss? I don't really want to use my hands because I feel like I'm just going to... It's going to be really interesting. I really do need a bigger bowl. Jack, hi Jack. Hey, you made hamburger before? Sorry, bad English Poland. Hi Jack from Poland. Got some Polish fans on. I have not made a hamburger. <laughs> Maybe I should. Actually, there is a really good Thai chicken burger that I've been having my eye on and I haven't made yet at all and I'm thinking maybe that would be something I can do. Tyson, hi Tyson. Yo, you deliver? <laughs> yeah, maybe I should start like making packs for everyone and delivering it. <laughs> okay, so tossing this as much as I can because my bowl isn't that big. Maybe I could like divide it into smaller bowls. <laughs> I think I might have to. Who thinks I should divide this into smaller bowls? I do have a medium. Okay, that might be a better idea. This is not, I'm gonna use a different thing. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that.
Okay. So, um, okay. So I'm going to bring, it says bring to a saucepan. Last time I did this, I did it with a pan, if I'm not mistaken, a fry pan, because I have a big enough fry pan. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and I'm adding the stock. So I'll do the stock now. It's an interesting stock. So we'll just move this to the side. Oh, it's so messy. Okay. All right, so stock is going to be okay. So Oh, okay. I remember now. So I think I just put this in water, actually. So one and a half liters of cold water. And so what do I do with the stock? Transfer. Okay. So I'll add this in with the stock. Oh, I'm gonna... I'll show you anyway. It's supposed to be an anchovy. Oh, no, no, no. This is the Benito stock. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, Benito. So I'm doing the... No, no, it's anchovy. <laughs> it's anchovy stock. Okay. It's saying one and a half litres of water. We'll just go with that. So one and a half litres of water. Now... Trying to work out how much of this to put in. But I got this at a Korean specialty store, which is an anchovy stock bag. So I haven't used that. I didn't use that last time I did this. I think I just used water because I couldn't find this. But this is again at that fantastic Korean specialty store not far away from my place. Oh, and they come in sachets. I can already smell. That ah, smells so like gross. Okay. Um, it's all in Korean. I don't understand Korean. <laughs> Everyone in Africa speaks Korean. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> How much do you think you could put in that with one and a half liters of water? Just that, right? That should be fine. Okay. All right, so I'll add that in. So that's okay now. Yeah, no. Okay. So um so um transfer the chicken onion sauce to a large saucepan, add enough water or stock to cover the chicken. Great. So this is I'll transfer you over. I'll teleport you just one second. Oh, okay.
Okay. So. So one and a half liters. Do I have a drawer? I'm just going to use my blender to measure. I just put so much water in the stove there. Hopefully it's okay. All right. And I'll put in the anchovy stock bag. I'm just gonna, do I empty it? I empty it, right? Unless it's a dissolving bag. I have to empty it, All right? It smells so, it reminisces, I'm reminiscent of something. <laughs> like pet food we used to feed the rabbits maybe? I don't know. No, we used to have a diamond python and that's exactly what Fred's food smelled like. Ah. Oh. He must have eaten like some kind of anchovy thing. Okay. Now, maybe closer. Closer. Um. Okay, so we're gonna bring to a simmer and put the, the chicken in. The water's supposed to actually cover the chicken. So did I do that right last sometime? Transfer the chicken, onion, and sauce. Midtime entertainment, half show entertainment, I mean, is about half time entertainment is about to start. I need the water to cover the chicken. Oh, and I can put the wings in the stock. Should I put the wings in the stock? I think I was supposed to put the wings in the stock. I think I kind of did that wrong. I think I was supposed to like, just let the wings kind of marinate in the stock, the wing tips. Oh. I might, I'm actually going to put some, I'm going to put some water in this and put some, some of the wings in the water. <laughs> I 
And now we let simmer for 15 minutes. Um, I'll actually tell it in. Okay, Google, set a reminder for 15 minutes. Got it today at 7.04 p.m. What's the reminder? After all is said and done, the simmering is gone. Sure, I'll remind you at 7.04 p.m. Okay, Google, set me a reminder for eight minutes. Okay, today at 6.57 p.m., what's the reminder? Use the wing stop. <laughs> I was going to say something sassy about that. Okay, I'll remind you at 6.57 p.m. All right. So now some halftime entertainment. I'll sing a song I was, can, I was thinking of, I had in mind, and then I'll take requests. I, there were some requests, and so I'm going to be doing those requests. Is that even on? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'll transfer you over. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So let's look at the requests. My hair's so weird today. Okay. Kerry's saying, love your cooking. Have you ever considered a good old southern fried chicken? I've made that once like a really long time ago, though. Um, but that would be interesting to do. Okay. Um, it'd be nice to make like a Filipino fried chicken. Oh. Okay. So I will sing the song that I had in mind today. Okay, <clears throat> be interesting to see the key. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> if I was in a movie, I would hold my head up high. And if I was in a movie, I would never be this shy. I would shout aloud and be so proud of what I have to say. And if I was in a movie, I would never have let you get away. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, and if I was in a movie, I would stand the test of time. And if I was in a movie, I would get away with crime. I would run so fast, it always lasts the distance of the day. And if I was in a movie, 
I would never have let you get away. This is not Hollywood. There is no camera in my room. This is not Hollywood. Flowers grow before they bloom. Well, you can walk in and it cuts me like a knife. This is not Hollywood. This is my life. If I was in a movie, I would never be this sad. And if I was in a movie, I would have more than I have. I would show the world I'm just the one who has so much to say. And if I were in a movie, I would never have let you get away. But this is not Hollywood. There is no camera in my room. Yes, this is not Hollywood. Flowers grow before they bloom. Well, you can light a room when you walk in and it cuts me like a knife. This is not Hollywood. This is my life. Yes, this is not Hollywood. This is my life. Ring. Yeah. Um. You know, people say like, like I don't. I like everything but country. <laughs> and I'm like, I like some country. Like I like country. I like everything and certain songs of certain things I like, and that's a country song that I really like. Um, Kerry and I used to sing that song all the time. Um, it was on her case. It's a song by Casey Chambers called Hollywood. It's not even a single. It's on like in, on one of her, it's an album track on one of her albums. Not even like that the album that everyone knows, although I'm sure Casey Chambers fans know that album, but I just love that song. I've always resonated with it. Um, so, yeah, I hope, hope you saw that. <laughs> Kerry Ray. Um, so yeah, that song was kind of a, a reference for you, but I thought of, I felt like a kind of being in a mood of singing that song. So yes, um, I'm going to get the lyrics to, I say, yeah, because I know them, but I might just need some help. I'm going to do some, I say, yeah, by dream street. Are you okay with me doing some I Say Yeah, Genevieve? Okay. All right. Oh. There is a reminder for Brian. It's Mitchell, but what's a reminder? Okay, Google, what's a reminder? According to Wikipedia, okay, Google. the remainder is the okay, amount left over after performing some computation okay, Google. in arithmetic. What is my reminder? You have two reminders today at 6.57 p.m. Use the wing stock. Yeah, that's what I want. Today at 7.04 p.m. after all is said and done, the simmering is gone. I'll just use it. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the, the wing stop. Okay. Perfect timing because I was about to start. So let's go for it. I'm also just going to move my lighting. Great. OK. 
Okay, and I'm back. <laughs> Carrie's saying, yay. So Genevieve, it's time for I say yeah. <laughs> you can rewatch it if you're not watching. Ack, 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 ack. All right. Yeah. All right. I know that, you know that, I can't stop watching you. I feel it, believe me, I know you feel it too. Whack, wow, uh oh yeah. There's something about me that you don't know about. I'm someone that somehow you seem to be without. Is it so hard that, wait, huh? Is it so hard to see that I'm not invisible? Feel like a fly on the wall, yeah. So if I get a little crazy, look a little space, boy, kisses your Will you think I'm okay? Set the sun on fire, scream a little higher, hold you in the moonlight. I see it, yeah, you see it right, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I might not be special, not like a Superman, but living. And loving, well, that I super can. It's not so complicated. Now reinvent the wheel. Just let me know how you feel. So if I get a little crazy, a little space, Lord kisses your Will you think I'm okay? Set the sun on fire, scream a little higher, hold you in the moonlight. I see if you say you're right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think it's like, you say you're right. If you say you're right, then I will say okay. I will take your head and we can fly away. No matter where we go, you will always hear me say, Yeah, oh, I say, Yeah, yeah. oh, be there. So if I get a little crazy, look a little space, oh, it kisses you. Will you think I'm okay? Set the sun on fire, scream a little higher, hold you in the moonlight. I say if you say you're right, yeah, yeah, yeah. blow a kiss on your way. Will you think I'm okay? Set the sun on fire, scream a little higher, hold you in the moonlight. I see if you say oh, right. Boom. Big explosion, confetti everywhere. Just glitter bombs bursting from every dynamical angle. Flow bouquet of flowers given to me. Thank you, thank you, everyone. People are just like losing their minds because of that performance. Every front page. Sorry, I don't understand. Stealing my moment. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> okay, what's the? I've kind of done. I've done. I don't want to cry and honey a little bit by Mariah Carey. It's a Mariah Carey song. Is there a Mariah Carey song that you request, Carrie Ray? I don't really. I mean, it could be like, okay, I'll do a little bit of um, a, a Mariah song that I know is one of your favorites, if not your favorite, Carrie Ray. I have a reminder for Brian.
Uh, I'll just do it quickly. I'll do it very quickly, okay? Okay. Maybe when you're cursing me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe when you're cursing me. You don't feel so incomplete. But we've all made mistakes, felt the guilt and some hate. I know that you've been there for plenty. Maybe still the love for me. But let him without sin cast the first stone breath in. But oh, we've been standing there. <laughs> the lyrics went away. And I wish you well. I wish you well. I wish you well. Oh. Um. Lord is my, okay. I wish you well. Oh, weapon form against me shall prosper. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. Lord knows it's my salvation. I will trust in Him. Yes. Oh, I know that I know that I know that I know that I know. But I had God's help this very day, and so I stand here and testify to small and great alike. So the more you curse me, the more you bless me. Weren't said it, love your enemies, be good to those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. The gravy pressed me from my high heel, but they not gain victory over me yet. I wish you well. <laughs> that was such a mess. And it was very gospel of me. Okay. Yeah, I wish you well. That's a favorite, and I really shouldn't have attempted that because it is such a crazy, difficult song. Just wipe that out. <laughs> but I love that song, and you should listen to the original. It's on the E equals MC squared album. I wish you well by Mariah Carey. Look it up on Spotify. Um... Yeah. Kerry Racing, can you remember when we saw Mariah in concert? Of course. It's my favorite. I said, like, when I went to SM Town in Korea, I was like, this is this could be my favorite, but Mariah Carey is still my favorite. Mariah Carey, number one. SM Town, number two. Best concerts of my life that I've ever seen. Okay. And I was going to sing a Tina Arena song, but I've got to continue with the cooking steps because I've been letting it simmer for a bit too long, I think. So... Hope you enjoyed that. That was a bit of a mess. Um, okay. I had to, okay, I have to cover and simmer again. So I'll do that song again. Okay. I'll bring you over. Okay, um, so the next bit is so I think I have a I'm going to use this to skim any scum it says <laughs> scum is, can you guys see any scum like like this I don't really know there's not really any scum 
I don't really know what it means by scum. Skim the scum away. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, we still got carrots here. We got quite a few things actually. I should have prepared them. See if I can move the, the tray over here. So I've got the potatoes, carrot, and we've got to put in got to peel. I completely forgot about the carrot and the potato. So I'll do this quickly. So cut into chunks. Carrots is actually pretty easy. Oh, hi, Zara. Zara's on, or she was on. Yum, is this spicy? It's very spicy. You should have seen all the stuff we put in this before. Very spicy. Like, this is, this is some of the stuff. Was 
with potatoes peeled and cut into chunks. Okay. It was super fast. I completely forgot for the carrots, potatoes, and actually we've got spring onions that I can cut up as well while we simmer this. Zara, if you're on, I don't know if Zara's on now. I was going to ask what your go-to craving food is during your pregnancy. Okay, trying to be super quick. Okay, I'm done peeling the potatoes, almost. Okay. Cut into chunks. Okay, good. Oh, okay, that was pretty fast. Okay, so now I put that in and I simmer it covered for 15 minutes. Okay, Google, set a reminder for 15 minutes, please. What is the timer? Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 minutes, please. All right, 15 minutes, starting now.
Okay, covering it. Do I stir it around enough? I'll do this spring onion and then I'll see if I can do a Tina Arena song. Trimmed and finally sliced. Oh, this is for serving, so that's okay. So, three small spring onions trimmed and finally sliced. Actually, I can slice them fine, finer. Okay, everything's back under control. <laughs> I'm almost at the end. It's been a long one. Thank you for watching. I'll do this Tina Arena song. Now, I'm, a part of me wants to sing Show Me Heaven because I'll show you the spring onions. Because... Um, Carrie reminded us when we were in high school because mom and dad went to New York and we put on a, a music, like a song contest. It was, it was like, I think we called it like the hit song or something. And it was like idol, but for songs. And I did, I chose 20 songs and then every time it was like judges eliminate round and like Lachlan and Carrie Ray were the judges and I was the public. <laughs> and then I remember once she like, eliminated early on like one of my favorite songs out of all of them and then I got back <laughs> then I got back at being the televote and I like eliminated a song I knew that she'd love she's like oh I love that song <laughs> but the winner of I was no this the runner up I think it was of that contest was show me heaven by Tina Arena and do you remember who won that contest, that particular contest? I'm talking about Carrie Ray, that song. Which song won? But um, but I don't I'm not gonna sing Show Me Heaven. I'm gonna sing I'm in a why what's with the country? I always find this song to be more of a country song than a pop song that I'm gonna sing. And I think I'm going to sing that song. I'm just going to put you back up.
Okay. Um, Kerry's saying the winner was, was it Mariah or Kelly? One of them is right. <laughs> it was Kelly. Do you remember the song? Now, this was like 2005, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Terry remembers my bedroom with a Titanic picture, which I still have. And when Lachlan was a kid, like a real kid, like maybe seven or eight, seven, or maybe six, he put a sticker that says top priority on the, on the frame, the glass frame of the Titanic poster. And I think I tried to take it off and I ripped it. Oh, my thing just glitched. But the... Let me know if you can see me. I think my connection just glitched a bit. But I'll, I'll say the story. Lachlan, when he was six, I think six or seven, he put a top priority sticker. A sticker that says, it's a blue sticker that says top priority on my glass frame Titanic poster. And... I tried to take it off and it ripped, like paper ripped a little. And I'm like, no. And so I left it on there for its entire existence at my home there, at the home in Belgeny. And then um, when we moved, like I brought it over here and somebody removed the sticker and I was so sorry. I was so upset that the sticker was removed. Anyway, crazy that I, I liked the sticker being on the Titanic poster. That Titanic poster was actually given to me by Auntie Jenny as well. So shout out to Auntie Jenny. Okay, so this is a song I'm going to sing. Okay. <clears throat> Do you want to be a poet? Wait, I'm going to start much lower. Do you want to be a poet? And write. Do you want to be an actor up in the light? Do you want to be a soldier and fight for love? Do you want to travel the world? Do you want to be a diver for pearls? I'll climb a mountain and touch the clouds above. Be anyone you want to be. Bring to life your fantasies. But I want something in return. I want you to burn, burn for me, baby. Like a candle in my life, oh, burn, burn for me, burn for me. Are you going to be a gambler and deal? Are you going to be a doctor and heal? Or go to heaven and touch God's face. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be a dreamer who sleeps? Are you going to be a sinner who weeps? Or an angel? Under grace, I'll lay down on your bed of roses, offer up my heart and soul. But in return, I want it to burn, burn me, baby, like a kettle in my life. Oh, babe. 
fire, burn the me, burn for me, yeah. Oh, yeah, I want you to burn, I want you to burn for me, baby, oh, yeah, burn for me. Yeah, I want you to burn, burn for me, burn for me. <laughs> that was my first ever CD I bought. Well, actually, it was given to me, but it was my first ever sing CD single. I'm off. Yeah, so... It was a cover of her, like she is kind of like a my all cover. She's like kind of half in the water and there's like a sunset behind her and she's like, <laughs> and that was the cover. Since you've been gone, you're right, Carrie Ray. that's who won the first season of the hit song. Okay, hope you liked that. <sighs> okay, um, it tells me to stir, so I shall stir a little. Oh, it's now smelling really good. It has a kind of jalapeno smell about it. Um, okay. I don't know why I just toppled, but okay. All right. <laughs> this is almost done, I swear. What, do you, what did you say you're having for dinner, Genevieve? Oh, Genevieve said earlier, sorry, I've been a bit quiet, Mitchell, love you. That's okay, do your thing. <laughs> you're probably eating and watching. I don't know how you're, you comment because I know sometimes you watch this on like a big TV, <laughs> which I find really funny. And I don't know if you like comment on your phone or something. Oh, Genevieve said, I'm not overly hungry, but Tim said he's ordering Thai. Oh, Thai, yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, yeah, so I shall, I don't know how much longer. I think we're like, we've got 12 more minutes to go and then we'll be done. Genevieve says, yes, she comments on her phone while she streams on the TV. Oh, there you go. Stop. All right. Ah, I just see Genevieve sent me a video. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it. She said, Genevieve said, I sent a short duet to you. He, he, he. I can't wait to see it. I'll have, I'll have to repost it. Oh my gosh. Okay. The thing's like overflowing.
Now I'm thinking I shouldn't have put the bag, <laughs> the bag in the water. May, like maybe I should have put the bag in the water instead of emptying out the packaging. I'm so stupid. It's smelling very anchovy. I think I kind of did a fail. <laughs> And it's overflowing. Okay, I'm going to move. I'm just going to move this back to. I have a feeling I did like a massive fail. to do, what to do, I have to wipe it off, but yeah, the anchovy, I think I was just supposed to put the bag in the water and then make it like a stock, I think this is going to taste kind of bad anyway, and I don't know what I've done here. Gosh. I can smell it. I think I was just supposed to like tip the bag in the water to create a stock. I'm thinking like like whenever I do a chicken stock, I just put in the stock, like the cubes. So I was thinking of that like that. I'm gonna have to do a massive clean after this. Okay, that should be okay for me to put it back on now. Probably gonna overflow again. We'll see how this goes. 10 more minutes. I might do it a little less. Okay, take the cover off and it says it'll help it reduce the liquid, which is definitely needed. Okay. I mean, I, I just, maybe the chicken, maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe just the liquid's going to be really kind of fishy. Yeah, but usually I do these, like I have done these, and so it's like just being like, okay, well, last time I did this, and last time I made the mistake, and I'm going to do that. But I added in the anchovy stock as a first. <laughs> And so I was like, um, I'll just throw it in. How long have we been doing this for now? Two hours, seven minutes. Well, it's not the absolute longest video we've done. I think for the longest we've done is like two hours, 22 minutes. So we might be, I think we'll be up there. I think we might match that.
I'll have to give you guys like an update. I'll do an update on my Facebook of how it tastes. <laughs> but thanks everyone for watching. It's been fun. Um, oh, okay. So, okay, Google set the timer for eight minutes. It's supposed to be 10, but I forgot. It's been about two minutes. Okay, Google, set the timer for eight minutes, please. Okay, eight minutes, and that's starting now. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what this tastes like. I mean, it still smells chickeny. It's like chicken, chili, fish. <laughs> I'm seeing if I should do, I'll try and do like a taste test. I'll let that sit for a while and I'll taste it. Kerry's saying never such things are fail, always evolving. Proud of you are done. Thank you. I'll give you an I'll give you an update. I'll do a taste test. And I'll take this time to give a shout out to Aurora and Tyson. And even a shout out to Sugar and Spice. Okay. I'm gonna put it in a it's very hot. It's like temperature, I haven't had it yet. I'm gonna try and cool it, put it in the free. <laughs> Okay. It's fine. It's okay. It tastes pretty good. I like how I made it last time though. See the other stock, it says 750 milliliters of water. And this time I used 1.5 liters. I think maybe it would have been nicer with less water. It would have made more of it an even hotter taste. But it tastes good. It just tastes actually very different to last time I made it.
It's actually okay. It just tastes re it tasted really good last time. Like I think it's just less water is what I needed. But it still looks really good and it tastes good. And it'll be good with rice as well. Jenny says, we all love you, Mitchell. Aw, thanks. So, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. I'll sprinkle it with spring onions and then I'll be the Jew as you. There's a final product. Thanks everyone for watching. That was an adventure. Um, that was a long one, but enjoy. Have a good night, everyone. And until next week, goodbye. Thanks for watching, Kerry Ray. Thanks for watching, Jennifer. And enjoy everyone. Have a good night. Bye.